to go into someone's office and uh, give the appearance of a private conversation with the absolute intent to publish that, the contents of that conversation uh, has an absolute chilling effect on the ability to conduct business within the party. That's the head of the Idaho GOP. He's reacting to the fact that the head of the Bonneville County GOP came into his office for a conversation and secretly recorded it. Today, the county committee chairman, Doyle Beck, released the video of a conversation with Yates. Again, the video recorded without Yates' knowledge. The video shows Yates may have known more about a supposed secret society within the Republican Party. Beck believes the secret society is trying to unseat local party leaders. Local News 8's Hannah Miller met with Steve Yates today for his take on the video. Hannah. Overall, Yates feels that the accusations are ridiculous. He says in his position, he hears rumors about people organizing against others all the time. But frankly, he says when it comes to a secret society, Yates says there's no such thing. When someone was coming in to try to come after me, I wasn't necessarily under any obligation to answer his questions or help him out or necessarily respond with the truth. Uh, it's perfectly allowed in politics when someone who has it out for you to give them a head fake. For me to say, have the otter pass. Both regional chairmen of the Republican Party claim that Yates has You're violated right. his fiduciary duty as party chairman. Essentially, the belief is that if Yates was a consultant to the secret society, he would be against his fellow party officials. And being paid for it would also be a conflict of interest. Number one, he had walked into a consulting company and asked a consultant if he was open to being a consultant. On its face, somewhat of a ridiculous proposition. Number two, there's nothing in any laws or rules that say that someone can't be paid to be a consultant. But then number three, I made patently clear right away, but I'm not that consultant. And there is no project, and so how could I be a consultant to a project that doesn't exist? Even though in the course of the conversation, I kind of hoped he'd believe that the thing was real and would go after it. Still, Beck has called for Yates to either come clean or resign from his position. Yates says so many elements of this are ridiculous. He says at this point in the campaign, it's silly to say someone should resign. It would be better for the Republicans to stick to the system, not go to the courts, and focus on accepting the will of the voters. In the studio, I'm Hannah Miller. Thanks, Hannah. That secret society has been titled as the Idaho Prosperity Project. Their goal is allegedly to flip the leadership of party precincts.